Hi everybody, how are we all doing? I hope you're having a good week so far. So today is Thursday the 3rd of April 2014. Let me just say that again, 3rd of April. We're in April already, four months into 2014. The year's going by so quickly, it's not even funny. <laughs> Before you know it, 31st of De December has arrived. Crackers. Anyway, so we're here, we're back. It's Arrow Week again. Ah, oh, thank God. Um, Deathstroke, episode 18. Brilliant! How awesome was it? It was just fantastic, was it not? It's just it just amazes me how every episode is outdoing the previous one by a huge margin. You always think they're not going to top that particular episode that you've seen, but then next thing you know, we're absolutely just blown away with what we've seen so far. So as always, there is going to be spoilers in this review. So. If you haven't watched it, don't watch this video. It's that simple. <laughs> anyway, so what happens in this episode? Well, Slade, obviously, as we saw in la the end of last week's episode, he, um, you know, Thea thought he was giving her a lift home. Uh, turns out he wasn't. He kidnaps her um, with the help of Brother Blood. So Sebastian's back on the scene. Um, he and Moira have their mayoral debate um, going live on, on, on TV in particular and uh, that was quite tense. I have to admit, I thought I think that was very very uh, intense between Moira and Sebastian both fighting off each other in terms of who's going to be the better mayor kind of thing so uh, yeah the, who knows what, what, what could lie ahead in that, in that sort of scene. Um, as I say, so Th Thea's been kidnapped and um, straight away Oliver realizes it's Slade um, he uh, gets Slade arrested um, with the help of obviously Sarah Sarah Lance and also uh, Roy Harper who by the way has serious I mean we knew that he was always having anger management issues but in this episode it was really apparent that he felt that the person to blame for Thea's kidnapping wasn't Slade it was actually Oliver um, and he he lost all respect for uh, for Oliver for, for for what he had done, and to a degree even Oliver had realised that what he had done was was a bad move. Um, getting Slade arrested, blaming him for Thea's kidnapping, which he was right, yes, but at the same time, the um, Starling City Police Department didn't um, hold any charges or keep. Um, Slade in custody for any longer because he had proof that he was actually abroad in Costa Rica. Um, Quinton Lance gets in trouble for that as well, of uh, aiding and abetting the vigilante that he didn't want to reveal, or he did, well, he couldn't reveal who he was because he didn't know who he was. Um, so he gets arrested, <laughs> which is not, which is not very good. Um, what do we see as well? Uh, there were some awesome fight scenes, some good, good fight scenes, uh, particularly from uh, the Arrow versus um, the henchmen from uh, that, that Slade has put out. Um, it was very, very good to see that. I was expecting a big showdown between Deathstroke and Green Arrow to appear. It didn't happen in this episode. It looks like it's going to happen in next week's episode titled The Man Under the Hood. And two massive reveals occurred in this episode. Two big secrets were revealed. One, Thea now knows that her real dad is Malcolm Merlin. Two, Laurel now knows that Oliver is the Hood. And who revealed said secrets to those two ladies? Slade Wilson himself. And if you if you were watching, if you were reading Twitter last night, you will have seen Stephen Amell's tweet literally as soon as that episode finished. Slade came in like a wrecking ball again <laughs> and I tell you what he certainly came in like a wrecking ball and what was interesting was throughout the episode you saw in the island scene as well as in present day Shadow was sort of giving Slade nudges um, she was there and then she wasn't there it's as such you know she was obviously in his mind um, whether or not he was you know be hallucinating or she was like the devil on his left shoulder kind of thing she was there pushing him like for example he was going to kill 
everybody that was on the island, Sarah and Oliver and the rest of them. Um, but then Shadow basically said, no, don't kill them. Uh, the island is a better death than you giving them, you know, the bullet kind of thing. Um, and then we see her again in present day when he's, um, uh, I remember at which point in the scene, but it's at the point of where, um, oh, do you know what, honestly I have forgotten, but she, she appears again in present day. Um, oh yes, that's it. When, well, before I even mention who else was involved, but when he's, when Slade is talking to both um, Sebastian Blood and another person who I'm going to mention in a second, um, that's when we then see Shadow appear again. Um, now this other person who I'm about to talk about, I honestly didn't think that this person was part of Slade's team. But I was also not surprised about their ruthlessness because this person, even in the comics, this person is just as ruthless, if not more ruthless. And it's none other than the return of Isabel Rochev, played by Summer Glau. She was, it was unbelievable. She was given control of the company by Oliver for temporary measures um, because he was more distraught about Thea being kidnapped. So when he handed over the control of the company to um, Isabel, she holds an emergency board meeting, a unanimous agreement was given to her to become the permanent CEO and then she lets slip on purpose to Oliver about his evening activities and that's when he realised she's working for Slade, well she says she's working with Slade and somebody came up with an interesting notion, um, I say somebody, it was actually the Green Arrow TV um, Twitter page, came up with an interesting notion that what if, in fact, Isabel Rochev is actually Slade Wilson's daughter, Rose Wilson, a.k.a. Ravager? Um, and I was like, well, there's still the matter about his son. And uh, so we don't know what's happening with his son. I can't remember what he said about his son. I think he mentioned his son back in season one, um, who becomes a villain known as Jericho. Um, but... We know, I know in, in, in the comics he has a son and a daughter. Um, I think his son is called Joseph and his daughter is obviously called Rose Wilson. So could Isabel actually be Rose Wilson? She'd have to have pure white hair because Rose has, you know, platinum blonde hair as such, um, so in the same sh sort of color as what uh, China White has as well. So that would be something very interesting along those lines if you ask me. Um, so yeah, it was very, very interesting to see Isabel being part of Slade's team. Um, Slade is amassing an army. He um, stops a bus full of prison um, inmates who are being transferred from Blackgate to Iron Heights, I believe, or from Iron Heights to, to somewhere else, I cannot remember. And um, he basically says, you know, I've got an offer for you guys. Um, Roy... Just going back to him quickly, he um, he's left town. He's left Starling City because of what's happening with Thea. He no longer believes in Oliver anymore. He, he decided to just leave. Um, although there were glimpses of him in next week's promo, uh, for the promo for next week's episode. So could he return? We don't know. Maybe he will. Um, but what is also interesting is next week's episode, it looks like Felicity is going to finally get her hands dirty. <laughs> um, there was a, there was, there, there's a part in the promo where she puts on a ski mask and she almost looks like Catwoman. Mm. There's an interesting notion. No, only joking. But uh, no, she, uh, she goes out in the field and it looks like she, she finally gets her hands dirty. So be interested to see how she copes out there. And it looks like all four of them, Oliver, Felicity, Sarah and Diggle are all going after Deathstroke. They are now taking the fight to him. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that all pans out. Um, but the way that Slade played in this episode was just brilliant because, as I've said previously about the character, he is a big time strategist. He is 10 steps ahead of you. There was a point in the episode where um, the gang were tracking Slade's movements when he left the um, the police station after he got he got set free, and Diggle was chasing him in the car. We had Felicity tracking him in 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 the in the in the arrow layer, and even Roy was like running after him at one point as well, and all of them lost him um, because he was he was aware that he was being watched, he was being tracked, 
and he made sure that he was not going to be followed and it was just it was just amazing to see how he was able to fool every single one of them and not and not be able to get caught um i think even oliver was chasing him on the bike at one point as well it was just it was just immense really really good to see that and it's just the way that that, that slade works how he plays off everybody else he's got he will walk in with with 10 different plans you know he if one doesn't work he moves on to the next just like that he he is really on the ball he's on the game he he knows what he's doing before you even think it yourself so yeah it's it was amazing to see to see his tactics play out and you know he's playing offense while they're also playing offense at, uh, offense at the same time um it was just brilliant absolutely brilliant to see um highlight of the episode definitely the two big reveals that Slade gave both Thea and um and Laurel um just unbelievable and also we actually got to see Oliver and Moira just for this moment put their differences aside and come together for 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 for, uh, for Thea um, we even saw a moment where Oliver was holding his mum's hand you know he did feel really bad for her knowing that she lost him for five years she now doesn't want to lose Thea um, luckily for Thea she she comes home unharmed unscathed apart from that big secret so oh my god and she blames Oliver because Slade tells Thea it's Oliver's secret not Moira's so he's now playing playing them two off together it's just unbelievable um, there's even people also saying you know I've seen some comments how people will believe or think and I've had this theory as well that now that Thea knows Malcolm's her father will Malcolm take her under his wing as such could we see her become you know speedy or a member of the League of Assassins as well because don't forget Malcolm was supposed to be dead last season and then he's come back and could we also see Tommy come back as I've already said in Three Ghosts earlier this season that there's a possibility that Tommy could be alive anything could happen between now and the end of this season and season 3 people that's all I'm going to say there so um, yeah once again another brilliant episode absolutely amazing well, well drawn out just brilliant all over Slade, he has got everybody fighting each other now. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week. Also, after next week's episode, there's going to be one more week break. Oh my god, one more week! So, we're going to have a break for one week after The Man Under the Hood, and then after that, pretty much every episode right up until the end of the season. So, looking forward to that. Can't wait. Um, as always, this weekend there is another Arrow character spotlight video, so find out who I'm going to be talking about. I think I already have an idea who I will be talking about, but as always, find out who it will be this weekend. And I shall see you all very soon for another episode review. See you all later. Bye!